One of the biggest requests I get is to go through exam questions to help you to know how to answer them and to give you exam practice. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing in today's video. Now, this is my brand new series where I do this every month for a different topic. I've already done the biological molecules video, which I'll link up here if you missed it. And that means today the next topic is cells. So join me in this video. We're going to be going through some knowledge, practical and application questions linked to cells. And by cells, that includes immunity, cell cycle, and transport across membranes. So grab yourself a pen, calculator paper. As each question comes up, pause it, have a go yourself, and then I'll show you the model way to answer it and the best ways to approach it. So let's get into it. So let's have a go at these questions. And we start off with a knowledge question linked to the topic of HIV. So we are asked here to describe how HIV replicates. So describe is our command word. And specifically, we're thinking about the replication that's happening inside of the cells. So the sorts of things that I'd be including then in this answer would be, first of all, we need to state that RNA is converted into DNA. And that is done using the enzyme reverse transcriptase. So you need to be talking about that enzyme for one of the marks, definitely. Then we can say what happens to that DNA that has been created. So that DNA then gets inserted into the DNA of the host cell, which is a helper T cell for HIV. Then that DNA, now it's in the helper T cell's DNA, it will be transcribed with all of the rest of the DNA. So it will be transcribed into mRNA. And then this is now where we get to the point of how it's going to replicate to make a new virus particle. So that HIV mRNA is then translated into the proteins that HIV requires to make its new particle. And that's what mark number four is. So that's what I'd be putting as those four key bullet points. Next, then we move on to a practical question. So the first step I always go through is reading and highlighting the key points. So to observe the behavior of chromosomes during mitosis, an optical microscope was used. So we're thinking about mitosis here. A student prepared a microscope slide of a stained, squashed cell from the tip of an onion root. So this is one of the required practicals. To create the slide, she cut the first five millimeters from the tip of an onion root and placed it on a glass slide. Then added a stain and acid to the root tip, put a cover slip on top, warmed the glass slide, and then pressed down firmly on the cover slip. So those would be the key things that stand out to me from the method that might come up as something that we have to justify or explain. And the bits in the first paragraph I was highlighting because that indicates to me what the topic's going to be about. And then I can start to think of key words that link to that topic. So then if we move to the next bit of the question, explain why the student used the first five millimeters from the onion root tip, pressed down on the cover slip firmly and added acid to the root as well. Now that set of questions comes up basically every time you get an exam question on the mitosis root tip practical. So that's why I've included this one, because for this practical, you're guaranteed to be asked one of those three questions, if not all of them. So here is what you would say for that answer. The reason that we would use the first five millimeters is right at the tip that is the place where mitosis occurs. And we just said, we wanna look at the behavior of chromosomes during mitosis. So we need to be observing where mitosis occurs. Then we have to say, why do they press down firmly on the cover slip? So this is why it's called a stained squash. You are squashing your sample. And the reason you have to squash it is, so you get a single layer of cells, that alone won't get you the mark though. So it's a single layer of cells and that enables the light to pass through the specimen. So you have to have both of those ideas for that one mark. Lastly, this one doesn't get asked as often, but it has come up a few times recently. Why did they warm it with acid as well? And what the acid does is it breaks down some of the links between the cells. And that means it is then possible to squash and separate the cells to get a single layer. 
So that's what they're after there. It breaks down the links between the cells so you can then get that single layer. Right, next question is an application question. It's still within the cells topic, but it's linking to transport across membranes. So as ever, get that highlighter out and let's start picking out the key information. The cells lining the ileum are specialized for absorbing the products of digestion, so such as amino acids. One specialization is that they contain embedded proteins to transport molecules across their surface. So I've picked out the information that's telling me where this whole question is happening. So it's in the ileum. It's to do with absorption of amino acids. And also somehow it's going to be linked to embedded proteins. This is now where it becomes application though, because all of that first paragraph you need to know anyway on the spec. But the new information is one of these proteins is the membrane bound enzyme ATP hydrolase. So that is an enzyme you're familiar with from biological molecules, but they're applying it now to this context. Suggest and explain the function of this enzyme in absorbing amino acids. So it's four marks. So we have to suggest what the role is and then explain why that role is so important in absorbing amino acids. So the first thing then, I'm going to say what the role is. The role of ATP hydrolase is something that you should know from biological molecules. It hydrolyzes ATP, and that means it's going to be converted into ADP and PI and releases energy. So the key idea there is it hydrolyzes ATP to release energy. So that's the first bit of the question, suggest what, it is, what the enzyme's doing. Now we need to explain why that energy is so important in absorbing amino acids. So that energy is used to actively transport the sodium ions from the epithelial cell into the blood. Third mark is then saying why we actively transport the sodium ions out of the cell and into the blood. That is to create that sodium ion concentration gradient. So you now have more sodium ions in the ileum compared to the epithelial cell. And because you have that concentration gradient, the sodium ions can move from the ileum into the cell and the amino acids co-transport with sodium ions. So number four, that's using your knowledge of co-transport. Um, and the first part was using your knowledge of ATP hydrolase. So I hope you found that helpful and you feel way more confident now on answering questions linked to these skills and this topic. And as I said at the start, there is a new video every month looking at these exam technique questions to help you find those key marking points. But if you do want more help with the key marking points, then check out my flashcards, which I've linked in the description below. For every single topic, I give you the list and the definition of all the keywords and key marking points. If you haven't already seen the biological molecules video, check this one out next as well.